Hi all. In this video, we will learn how to use grounded pad for SMA connector connection on, on your PCB. So what I mean by that, let me first show you that this is how the SMA connector looks like. This goes to the, this pad tab goes to the uh, solder at the bottom of the PCB. And that is the central pin. So that goes in, you know, the soldered here at your connection. And then you have the two adjacent, the ground um, uh, connections, this one and this one that also sits on the top of the PCB to give the strength and good ground connection in the PCB. So that way your connection that you have, you are mounting that will be, you know, very firm and nice and a stable connection you will get. So how do you add these extra ground planes? Okay. So let me show you on top. It looks like this with some couple of, you know, the plated through holes. And then on layer two, if I type in two on my keyboard, this is how it looks like on the top. So the basic idea is that the, those, these holes are plated through holes and they are connected to the bottom ground plane. And therefore, when you bring that plated through hole on top and uh, this is, that is get that automatically, that automatically gets connected to this, this metal here. Okay. And same on this side. So this basically this way you are bringing the ground plane on the top layer of your PCB. So how do you do that? So let me just go ahead and start this again. No. So here I have already imported and in my previous video, I, sh I showed you how to import your Gerber file from ADS into dip trace. And now, first of all, I have to add a uh, metal tab here. So again, I will go here and change this to, excuse me change this layer, uh, let me move this, yeah, change this layer, the signal and plane. So I just wanted to put some, you know, top layer metal here, essentially. So I change this to signal and plane and go here and grab this. And depending upon what your measurements are, I'm not doing it exactly, but depending upon how, how what your measurements are, you can choose to have something like this or just do the measurement of SMA connector and see the data sheet to get the exact dimensions and just put it here. So you grab that and just you left click and that way you have added this metal plane here. So this, if you see the color, they are at the same, like, you know, the top layer metal plane, that's what this is. And then you wanted to add some static via, so I can just go ahead and add a couple of vias and just, you know, work with your, um, uh, the, um, fabrication house facility and see what they are capable of doing and how much the separation should be and whatnot. So suppose I have, you know, few, few vias here and then let me zoom in a bit and let me first also, you know, go to the default mode to see, you know, how these via looks like. So now if I go on the, you know, the bottom layer, for example, so I don't believe I have any bottom plane here, but top layer and second layer. So, so far I don't have any ground plane here. So what I can do now is that I can add the bottom plane but remember that the bottom plane doesn't know what is the name of this connection so it is a good idea first of all to define what these these pins are so to that end first of all i should define a rat line a new rat line because remember our difficulty uh we didn't have the rat line so what you do is you you go to objects and click on place rat lines and then click here and click here and then what you can do is you can rename this right click and rename this as G and D your ground plane. So this is connected to your ground. Okay. And that then again, you can just, uh, sorry, object and place red lines. And then you can go ahead and click this and click this and connect this one. And from here to here. So all of these are now at, they're all ground plane connected to so-called the ground. Okay. Then what I can do here is I can, again, if, if you want to move anything, do anything, copy anything, just, good idea is to go to the default mode and then click this one that way it is easier to bring here and do the measurement and you know do a nice placement like this here for example okay so you have this ground plane but remember this is ground plane here but now when you copied it they, these two are not connected because when you highlight this this doesn't get highlighted so i can just go here and say that i want to you know uh, add all this to uh, again to ground G and D and say, okay. And I want to, yes, match all of them to ground. And so all of these are now my ground plane, right? They are all connected to ground. You see, 
now I can go ahead and do my usual business and you should repeat similar kind of thing at all these three ports that you have here and then what you do is you define your bore boundary so let me go here and I forgot how much by the dimension last time or maybe placement sorry where was it yeah board board points and if I remember from yesterday it was 51 over 51 or 51.2 I forgot so that many mm and you had this is your board boundary so please watch the previous video you know to understand what I'm talking about why you need a board boundary and all that and how you define these length so this is the board boundary and then uh, to place a copper pore I can just go here and uh, remember that the copper pore I have is on the uh, second layer so I don't have anything here so let me go to layer 2 okay so go to go to layer 2 and put the copper plane okay we don't have any copper pore on the top okay except for those ground pads that we just defined so we go here and we go here okay remember the in micro strip technology you have the ground pore only at the bottom okay and then there are other like CPW and other technologies we'll talk about sometime later so now once you have done that like you know it will give you opportunity to connect it to ground so remember now we have defined our ground net so now I will say that okay my ground should be connected to this ground plane okay so this this ground plane metal is connected to that ground net so now if you go back up there in layer one I see this that I have this uh, PCB and I have my vias here I can just see all of these are connected to the bottom ground plane and then what you can do is you can add the mask layer as we did last time the top mask so you go here and add top mask layer because remember we don't want no solar mask in a, most of our RF microwave PCB then you go to bottom mask and add a bottom mask layer you can hit two if you want to but you know this is just a layer so how does that matter so you have this and then you can go ahead and you know uh, write your name and place your logo using this and whatnot but uh, this is this is all like you know uh, this is how you add the ground pads here and make sure that you know all of these are connected to uh, the the ground plane all these are supposed to be connected to the bottom ground plane let me see how in 3d it looks like so I have this 3d view and I can see that you know this is nice and firm connection you can see it from here like you know that looks like you know the ground yo sorry the metal filling into that those cylinder cylindrical holes so that is plated through hole and that's what we have you know nice and uh, good ground contact on the top and you can solder your resume connector here one more thing I wanted to emphasize that if you don't follow that rule uh, uh, of like you know naming that ground like you know you see what will happen is that if you just try to uh, put for example this signal plane and put something here and if I put a static via right sometime if if that is not connected to ground if you have not defined that as a you know ground nodes it is not connected you see how they are connected here and they are not connected here so if I go here and say for example um, clear all pores okay so let me show you the how this look on the bottom plane so at this moment this is how it looks like on bottom plane and then I, if I go here and say again that okay update copper pores and now if you see layer 2 so here you see all that is connected to my ground plane but because I didn't name that static V as ground so there is no connection so there is no connection between this via and the bottom ground plane so you would think that this is your ground but this is not because you didn't define that as your ground and that you didn't do anything to actually connect this or you know uh, make a connection between this and the ground plane okay so that step where I use this uh, place rat line and define that as my ground and then also did the same here and all those steps are very very necessary in order to do that okay so I don't know if there is any better way of doing this in deep trace but this is what I have found a sort of you know way around on how to use how to import files from your ADS and then add your ground plane here and add the static via here okay so once you have 
you are, you are done with that, again, you go here and, you know, file and export this as a Gerber file and just upload this on any uh, PCB manufacturing house website like GLC, PCB or Oshpark. And you can check if, you know, this meets with their specification and their requirement or not. So that is all for today. Thank you very much. I hope this was helpful.